at all this emo pie. Oh, <laughs> M. Brady, the baby. Isle of Thunder Alliance Episode 3. Here we go. Now, apparently, somehow, I saved a lightning immune pterodactyl in the last episode. But I didn't actually notice doing it. But, uh, yeah, that's what this one's all about, so. Barisa is waiting for you, champion. This beautiful creature you rescued is immune to the lightning strikes that protect the island. Do you think you can ride it? Are you serious? Can I ride it? Dude, I've been riding dragons for, like, years. I have a freaking chicken mount. Wonderful. Of course I can ride it. Anyway, here we go. May come after you. Be ready to dogfight in the air. Jump from mount to mount if you have to. A Shadow Pan agent will meet you behind the mines. Good luck! Okay, Thunderwing. Thunder, Thunder, Thun... Never mind. This is a, uh, a new mount, from what I understand. I have not seen it in-game, but a few people have told me, have confirmed that this is going to be a real mount that you're able to get somehow, some way. I have no idea how. And again, I haven't seen it. It's just what I've heard. So, yeah. You can't really quote me on it. I guess you could technically now. But uh, you have no control over this right now. You're just floating around in space. You will get a special action button here in a minute once something finally attacks me. And you'll, you'll just use that to bounce around and kill other people on flying dragons that are immune to lightning. Yeah. Because that's why you can't fly on Thunder Isle. Or the Isle of Thunder. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> yep. Too much lightning. It's bad. Lightning is not conducive to flying. Here we go. Special action button. You just bounce to dragon from dragon. Yeah. And their color scheme is much nicer than ours, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah. Who knows? Uh, they could do all kinds of things with all these new mounts and their new style. I don't know if you've noticed this, but uh, for instance, the PvP gear, the tyrannical PvP gear, each set is faction Keller specific until you get to, you know, the 2200 plus. Well, it's not 2200. I don't know if they're still doing the 2200 rating or if you just need the 30,000 conquest points to start buying it. I don't remember if, if they're doing that this season or if it's going to be 5.3 but whatever they could do all sorts of things you know different Keller mounts for you know faction specific who knows who knows what they'll do but yeah the idea is out there and I like it a lot I like that they're actually separating Alliance from Horde Okay, stage three. Here is the first of two bad guys, and this is easy. This is all easy. It's all just storytelling. And basically, the story is we're trying to take the Thunder King's armory to learn from his weapons. And that's exactly what we're about to do. So this is the, the gate guard. He's a breeze. He really doesn't do anything of note. Uh, I am wearing good gear, but even in bad gear, I can imagine this being... Well, you're not going to be here in bad gear. You know, it, even if you're in Raid Finder gear, you'll be fine doing this. So, yeah, it's meant to be soloed. And, yeah. Moving on. Now, the best thing about this whole storyline, and actually, even in the, um, the storyline coming up from the operation shield wall or yeah with it doesn't matter which version which side you are on the storyline of it makes you feel like a hero again and that is really good I'm very glad they've kind of gone back to that that you are special and you know your your deeds are taken note of and they absolutely are doing that again especially you know even this little Pandaren girl here says you know that my deeds are becoming legendary in the shadow pan or something like that at the end of this either way it makes you feel good like you're actually making an impact on the world of Warcraft 
So this is pretty simple, self-explanatory. You just kill some trash until you get to the big boss. Um, now, this leads into Jaina saying some things like she never passes up a chance to study, you know, advanced technology and things like that. And I get a feeling that there's going to be some storyline in the future where Jaina butts heads with Varian. They, they already have a few times, you know, with the the Kirin Tor and kicking the Sun Reavers from um, Dalaran or Dalaran, what, however you say it, whatever, it doesn't matter. But she's kind of like off her rocker a little bit now and I don't know, she's either going to end up getting killed or something is going to happen. That she's going to have some kind of epiphany and go back to being like a good girl. You know, not that I'm like a huge lore nerd or anything like that. I I haven't read all of the books and, and things like that. But it it is interesting to me, you know. it's I enjoy that part of it. It's all part of the world. It all ties together and, I mean, we're part of it. So even if you're only in it for PvP, yeah, you know. You're still a badass. And it's neat to have a story behind that. So that's it. I'll shut up so you can hear Jaina. Rangers, secure the forge. Smash the gate so it cannot be closed. Lady Proudmoore, it is safe for you to enter. You two did it. I knew the Shadow Pan would make excellent allies. We share a common enemy, Lady Proudmoore. Nothing more. But together, we have delivered a terrible blow to the Thunder King. Varisa, gather up everything we can find before the Mogu return. Leave nothing for the Horde to claim. My lady, weapons of the Thunder King are an abomination. They should be destroyed. Oh, they will be. But knowledge is power, and I will never turn down an opportunity to study something new. Thank you, Taoshi. And thank you, hero. It will be difficult to hold the forge, but think of what we can learn here. And that is it! Episode 3 of the Alliance side uh, incursion onto Thunder Isle, or the Isle of Thunder. Whatever. You know, I make mistakes like that all the time, and you guys feel free to call me out in the comments. Anyway, make sure you do like, subscribe, leave me some comments below. Let me know if this is something that you're interested in, because I do enjoy doing the storyline things. And uh, there's going to be a lot more. They've hidden a lot of things in rep quests and I've been doing more and more of those over this little break between 5.1 and 5.2 I feel like we've had a little break but uh, anyway thanks for watching this is Eatmo Pie I'll see ya